is the IT job market really saturated? And to find out the answer, I compiled a list from Global 500 and applied to companies like Microsoft. In the recent days, I have seen many videos talking about how big companies laying off their employees. And they're not only laying off developers, but senior developers and many other IT professionals. Is that really true? To get a clear picture, I decided to look for a new job for myself and to get an idea how challenging the job market right now. And this is exactly what I'm going to share in this video. I documented everything and to add more value, I just divided this video into three major chapters. My preparation, the process, and the most important, the outcome of this job search. So let's start with the first step, the preparation. With nearly a decade of experience, I aim to apply to some of the largest IT companies. My goal was clear, verify whether these big players were hiring or if they were indeed laying off employees. And for that, I chose to apply in 25 top IT companies. And these IT companies must be 500 global fortune companies. The companies include like IBM, Microsoft, ServiceNow, and the list goes on. But the only one condition, the company must be in global 500. And in case, if you are not aware about the global 500, the fortune global 500, also known as global 500, is an annual ranking of the top 500 corporations worldwide, as measured by revenue. So once I have a list of 25 IT companies, and of course these companies are in list of Global 500, then I visited the website of these companies to check if they have any job opening. And not only this, if I found a company has job where I can apply, then I use LinkedIn to see if I had any connection working there who could provide me good reference. My approach was clear. I was not applying randomly. I was applying with a clear purpose, clear motive to get a job. So after some research, I found 12 companies with relevant vacancies and I started applying. So once I applied to these companies, I just wait. And two weeks later, I started receiving calls. So let me highlight three important things here. First, while you can see application deadlines, companies have their own process. So don't expect if the deadline is passed, someone will call you immediately. And the second thing I learned, always write a cover letter. And this cover letter clearly mention why you want to join their company and what value you will bring in the team. And the third, tailor your CV for each application if required. This shows one key thing. You are sincere and it will make you a more attractive candidate. To be honest, I have seen many candidates applying with their old CV. Probably a CV which they have created two or three years ago. To be honest, it's not really good practice but hope you are getting the idea. Now let's move to the second phase, the process. The first company who contacted me was ServiceNow. After an initial telephone call, I was expecting interview run will begin from next week. But, but I received an email stating that they had hired someone internally. To be honest, it's a good sign, like the company is really valuable. Why? It indicates the company is promoting their internal employees, which is really, really good. But of course, it was not a good news for me. So I was a bit disappointed. So what it means is the job market really bad what other people are claiming? I will not say so. Why? For two reasons. The first, these companies are really big in size and every year millions of people are applying to these companies. Do your own research and I'm sure you will find the same kind of statement. So for example, ServiceNow website clearly says in the last year alone, ServiceNow received more than 1 million job applications. And of course, if they have million applications, they have to be very, very careful to whom they should pick, whom they should reject. So this is the process. So with one outcome, I can't make any conclusion that job market is hard or IT industry is not really booming. But I just waited and very soon I received a call from IBM. I don't want to lose this opportunity, so I prepared hard. And here are three key strategies that might help you in your preparation. First, thoroughly review the job application. Try to understand what exactly the company is looking for, which department you will be working, the technology they are using, their future plans, and you can find all this information on their website. So do your research. The second key point is familiarize yourself with the interview format. Try to find out what exactly the process is. Is there any coding test? Is there any interview? If yes, how many rounds are there? And so on. And then finally, practice relevant technical skills. Use online resources, communities, do your practice. And this is exactly what I did. I attended all the three rounds of IBM and I was waiting for the out. But in the meantime, I got called from three more IT companies. So what I did this time, just repeat the exact cycle for all these companies that I just shared with you. 
Now let's jump to the third and final chapter, the outcome. When you work hard and give you 100%, you shouldn't worry about the outcome. Of course, there is a nervousness that is very common, but overall, you should not be worried. This is exactly what I need. I'll take the interviews. I was waiting for the outcome. And now let me share the stats with you. I selected 25 companies and applied to 12 companies, attended 5 interviews, the same job offer from 3 companies, and I was declined by 2 companies, and finally, I declined 2 job offers and accepted one. Here is a more easy pie chart to understand. So you can see the acceptance rate is above 10%, which is not bad. And in my case, it's approximately 13%. And let me tell you one thing. This is not the overall picture because I'm still waiting to hear from other companies like Microsoft. But that's okay. Change is the nature of life. You have to accept one offer and you have to move. This is exactly what I did. So I accepted one offer. Which one? I will share maybe in next few videos because right now I'm serving my notice period. And now, what I think about the job market. To be honest, I don't think job market is really bad. I have more than two offers. I have an option to choose which company and where I want to work. So, I will definitely think this is not that bad as the people are claiming. Companies do need software developers and skilled professionals. Personally, I'm thinking it's prospective. Same thing may be good for one, same thing may be bad for other. So, this is really personal opinion. And I'm on a mission to help 1 million developers. If you need any sort of help, please let me know, email, comment, or join the community link in the description. Soon I will announce something big, which can help you, and I'm here to help you to get your dream job. In the meantime, I encourage you to watch this video, coding was hard until I realized these three things. Remember, the journey of 1000 miles starts with a single step, and it's your time to take the first step.